you to imagine you're in the army, on a foot patrol in a war zone. You're searching out the enemy. It's dusk and there's a lot of dust in the air. You hear a gunshot. It sounded like it came from in front of you. So you fire straight ahead in order to protect yourself and the other men in your patrol. Now this situation is terrifying enough, but imagine if you were deaf or hard of hearing. You can just about tell there was a gunshot, but you're not sure which direction it came from. You're peering through the dust, trying to decide which direction to shoot. Precious time is ticking away, mistakes are made, lives are lost. You might be thinking, how does this situation come about? Why would we send a deaf soldier to fight in a war zone overseas if we can't guarantee that they can perform this vital task correctly? Well, the truth is, we just don't know to what extent a hearing impairment affects their ability to carry out tasks such as the one I just described. Currently, the UK military tests the hearing of all of their soldiers, and whilst we remove those from the front line that have a severe hearing impairment, we still allow those with a mild to moderate hearing loss to carry on their jobs as normal. Now, this is because after years of specialist training, they're often highly skilled and very valuable individuals. They can carry out their job even with a hearing impairment by relying on other sensory cues and past experience to fill in the gaps that their failing hearing has created. But what happens when these other sensory cues aren't available, when they must rely on their hearing alone, just like the situation I described? So my research question is, are we putting these hearing impaired soldiers at extra risk on the battlefield? And more specifically, how well are they able to localise a gunshot? So to answer these questions, I've planned a series of listening experiments to compare how well normal hearing and hearing impaired soldiers are able to localise. I've recorded live gunfire using special microphones placed at the ears of a mannequin. And this will allow me to play back these sounds over headphones in a laboratory environment, effectively safely mimicking the battlefield environment. So, <coughs> sorry. Um, so hopefully this will allow me to determine whether these soldiers are able to detect the position of the enemy using just their hearing alone, and are therefore safe to be deployed to the front line. So ultimately, I want to change army medical policy to ensure that we don't send soldiers to the front line if they're a risk to themselves, their colleagues, or the civilians around them. Thank you.